of the Venta Fourth. Put it up. So it all started from here. The video by Bradley Phillips. I contacted Moose right after watching the video. And somehow I ended up ordering this instead of zinc. I was not really happy with the result of first chrono test. So I emailed Moose and he said the barrel may need some breaking in period. Also the plunger tube head, you know, o rings. Maybe they need some more lube. So I decided to do those things today. About the barrel, there is nothing I can do besides cleaning. I just have to shoot more. In order to get to the plunger, you have to move these bungee from the sea and then undo these four screws on the new channel There is some spring tension, so be careful. So this o-ring was pretty dry, so yeah, 
it definitely needs some lube. So this time I decided to try this. KY. Yeah, don't laugh. KY jelly is supposed to be a pretty good lube. KY jelly is inexpensive and widely available. You can buy them at anywhere. Unless you are 10 years old. Next, plunge ahead. Do the same thing. Put a lot of KY jelly. and plunger tube. Inside of the plunger tube needs a lot of lube also. Don't laugh. This is all about scientific experiment. I said, don't laugh, okay? So I really hope I can see 350 mark today. So, because of the spring tension I mentioned earlier, I recommend putting the back end this way. So if you have worked on motorcycles, cars, um, real firearms, you already know this. But if you don't know, um, don't do screwing in one screw all the way in and then move on to the next. You have to do it so-called one, two, one sequence.
overall, it's pretty easy and straightforward to do this maintenance. The tools that are required for this job are um, pretty simple. Phillips number one Phillips screwdriver and gun cleaning rod and uh, KY jelly or any silicone lube grease you have and bleach, any kind of spray on wax, and metal tray with magnet is useful. Let's take a quick look at today's chrono test. First, worker Gen 3 high end. So, the first round was 340, second, 343, third, 336, fourth, 338, fifth, 342, average, 339. And standard deviation is three you know a lot of people talk about or they like um, people like average but average doesn't really mean that much especially when the sampling is small what you really have to pay attention is standard deviation if you are good at math or if you are from real firearms you know this and then worker chain 3. So first, 323, second, 316, third, 318, fourth, 319, fifth, 318. The average, 318. However, standard deviation is 2, which means it's pretty consistent. And next, Adventure Force. The first is first shot was three hundred sixty-three. Second, yeah, first shot, and then second three hundred forty-two. Third three hundred forty. Fourth three hundred forty-three. Fifth three hundred forty-two. The average was 346. This is FPS wise, maybe the best performer out of these four kind. Over 360, that's pretty impressive. And last, Dart zone max starts. The first 332, second 336, third 336, fourth 341, fifth 339, average 336, standard deviation 3. So, is a Gen 3 high end or um, adventure force as a way to go if you want a higher FPS, I guess. That was all max.
336. Almost forgot. You know, this is what over 300 FPS can do to your backstop. So be careful what to use. It will penetrate、um, two layers of moving blanket. And a little bit about worker Gen 3 darts and the Gen 3 high end. The purple one is Gen 3, and the other box that's Gen 3 high end, but the box, the kanji character actually says second generation, but the SKU is correct. So I was wondering why the box says second generation. And it turned out、um, this is, you know, Gen 3 high end is actually a Gen 3 spec with different color and better glue. So, you know, that's something I have never seen people. Talking about. 